Hi all, my name is Dean and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about six obnoxiously inexpensive tools that are uh, almost, they, they've become vital for me. They are uh, wonderful little gadgets. Um, any homeowner can, can have them or should have them um, and they cost just a few dollars a piece. Um, we'll go through the first five, uh, really simple, give a quick demonstration on how they work. And then, uh, and then we'll talk about the last one, which isn't quite as inexpensive, um, but it is very, very handy to have. So, let's get started. The first thing, this first tool, this is a plastic little tiny vernier cal um, caliper. It is, I think I bought this thing about 20 years ago. It has been um, an invaluable tool. Um, just just wonderful to have. It just, it's a simple measuring tool. Um, it has some outside jaws here uh, for measuring outside diameter. Um, some inside, inside jaws there for measuring inside diameter. Um, this works great on circular objects, things like that. And this little pointy thing at the end is great for measuring depth. Um, this one comes in uh, increments of both uh, standard uh, inches and in metric centimeters. Um, it's great to have if you look over here for a second, um, one thing I used it for recently, I'm in the process of building a foosball table. Don't ask me why. Um, it was some crazy idea I had. Um, but I know I bought these, um, I bought these, whatever those are called, those bearings. And I know they're three quarter inches, um, but I'm gonna verify that and I'm gonna stick the inside diameter jaws in there. I'm gonna turn it around, I'm gonna check it. It comes out right at three quarter inches. The item that I'm using for my foosball handles um, is actually a piece of electrical conduit. And I went to the store and I took this with me. It was in my pocket. It was easy to do. And when I measured it at the store, I noticed it was just slightly under three quarter of an inch, which will be perfect because it'll allow it, it'll allow that to uh, slide in and out. But the electrical conduit advertised as half inch inside diameter and uh, three quarter inch outside diameter is not actually true. So my handy Vernier uh, caliper came in very, very handy for that. And as you can see, when I slide that in there on the day that I'm finally ready to do that, it slides in very nice and moves just the way we need it to do. Thanks to these, I think I paid, I don't know, two and a half or three and a half dollars for this thing. And like I said, I've had it for 20 years. It's it's an amazing tool to have around the house. Highly recommended. With that, um, along with measuring tools, um, another tool, I fought this one for so long. Um, there was commercials on TV uh, showing me the wonderful benefits of having a multi-angle um, measuring tool. And I laughed. I'm a carpenter. I'm a carpenter by trade. I don't need something to find an angle. I know how to find an angle on anything with a measuring tape and a speed square no problem this thing however i think it was for about six bucks no this one was a little more expensive i think this was about 10 or 12 dollars um bought it off of amazon and it showed up and i laughed at myself for having a weak moment and buying one here's what i found what a wonderful thing let's pretend this is the uh corner of our wall and if i stick my square up to this or this tile, which is square. Let's say I'm tiling the floor. I noticed right away that that is not square at all. Now with a measuring tape, I could figure that out and figure the angle and cut it off like that. It takes a couple minutes to do that. It's not a big deal. But with this tool, throw it in the corner. I hold it up here. I turn the little thumb screws. And in a matter of seconds, I have Tighten that a little more. In a matter of seconds, I have my angle right there. I line this up with the edge. I grab my pencil. I come over here. I draw that on there. Extend that line to the end. Perfect angle cut. If I was to line that up, that's a beautiful cut. Easy, simple, super, just handy to have around the house. Now this also comes in it has measuring increments on it, inches and centimeters, things like that. I haven't quite gotten to the point where I've needed that. However, um, if you will probably come up with many, many, many more uses for this tool, for 12 bucks, for the time you save, um, 
an amazing, an amazing thing to have. Uh, really cool. So long as we're talking about funny cuts, things like that, um, we have a simple contour gauge. Uh, six to ten bucks, somewhere in that, at any of your Home Depot stores, big box stores, anything like that. And this is simple. Um, a lot of people, a lot of people have these already, um, and they know the value of them. The first time I saw one, um, I was working on a project uh, way back when, when I was a contractor, and the trim, my, my representative for my trim making company came in, and he brought one of these with him, and I thought, well, that's a ridiculously simple tool, and I will probably never need one. <laughs> of course, I was wrong. Um, we bought a house, started to remodel it. Uh, it's an older house, it's about a 100-year-old house, and found all kinds of funky shapes um, with trim work and edge work and the other different woodworks on the built-ins and things like that. This tool was just great. Um, it's super simple. It's a bunch of pins sitting in a block. This is this one happens to be metal. Some of them are wood, some of them are plastic. Just press that up just like that. Pull that off. That one didn't work out so well. <laughs> a lot of paint on this one. Press that in like so. Comes out. You've got a perfect profile that you can take this, put it on a piece of paper, sketch that out. Where'd my pencil go? Here we go. You can sketch that out just the way it's drawn. We're pretending this is a piece of paper. Thanks for playing along with me. And you've got a perfect drawn profile of that. Take that piece to the store, tell them this is what you need. Um, and, and if they've got it, great. If not, then we'll talk about other problems later. Um, you've also got this. Uh, you can keep this handy. One thing that I found, just the silliest things you find out to do with tools, I have a router table. I have one router table. Of all the tools I own, I have one router table, and I use it uh, extensively. Um, but I have to change bits quite often, and oftentimes I will have to come back and use the same bit over. And what I found is if I take this and I put it on the router table with whatever bit I have in there, I'll press it down. It'll give me an impression of not only the bit that I had in there, but the depth at which I had it set. So I can come back and just put that on the rotor table, adjust my depth again, and I can come up with a perfect cut the second time, even after changing bits. Uh, for those of you who've been in the been in the woodworking game for a while, you'll know that's a very difficult thing to do. This makes it easy. This is great. Um, let's move on to a couple of different painting project uh, painting uh, products. This one is simple. Um, this won't take long. For three bucks, this is another one I picked up years and years ago. It's just a little drill paint thing. They sell them all the way upwards of twenty, thirty dollars. This one was three bucks years and years ago. Um, I've got a couple of them. We're gonna throw it. All we do is throw it in the drill. Super simple. I've spent hours and hours and hours painting with those silly little sticks that they give you at the paint store. Uh, mixing up cans of paint. You get to the bottom, you've got lumps on there. This one's super simple, a very separated can of paint. It's been in my basement for five years. I'm just going to stick that in there. As you can see, it's just water. Stick that in there. Within a few seconds, you're done. It's mixed. You're ready to paint. No problem. We'll put that there. We'll clean up our mess later uh, as we're trying to keep it short for you. Super simple. There's not much to say about it. It spins around in a drill and you paint. No problem. We're on painting. These little things, again, I fought this one for years. I don't need a tool to help me paint. I, in fact, I don't even like painting. But we got to do it from time to time. These little things, you just stack them up. They've got tiny, tiny little points on top. Um, which makes perfect sense, except the beauty is they leave very, very tiny marks. It's a, it's a matter of seconds to turn your board around, uh, turn your piece of, of material around, touch it up, and, uh, and you're done. Um, one trick that I like is to put on a coat of paint, uh, let it dry for just a few minutes, flip it over, and the points are so small that uh, uh, you, there's no touch-up necessary. Just works like that. Set them down, stack it up, your piece is on there, you're ready to paint, grab your brush, a little on there, we can get down to the edge. Don't have to worry about making a mess on anything. La la la. You're done with that. Flip it over. Ready to go on the other side. Simple, silly little tool. Uh, I got a package of eight or ten of them for 
five bucks. It was, you know, silly, obnoxiously inexpensive, but uh, but great to have. That covers the first five really, really inexpensive tools. Um, the sixth tool, I didn't know if I should include it in here. Um, this is a little bit different. However, the amount of money that it has the potential to save you, um, this is great. And I bought this off of Amazon. I happened to buy uh, the Smoke Pencil brand of this. And all it is is a simple smoke maker. It puts out tiny jets of smoke. Um, it's awesome for holding up to a window or a door. Um, I'll show you this, how this works. Press that in, little green light goes on. Squeeze it. Yeah. And I'm realizing I'm just, I'm out of fluid. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But a tiny little jet of, of uh, slow moving, odorless smoke puffs out. Put it by a window, put it by a door. The direction of the smoke will tell you exactly where the any kind of air leaks or anything like that are coming from. Now you know exactly what uh, what you need to do to weather strip that, caulk it, whatever. Um, just can save you tons and tons of money and energy costs, uh, especially if you live in a climate like ours. We're up in Minnesota. It's cold all the time. Otherwise, it's scorching hot. Um, we like to have our houses sealed up pretty well. This thing comes in handy. Um, like I said, I just got it a little while ago, and it's already paid for itself. Um, just, just around the house, just around the house uh, fixing stuff. So that is it. Um, I hope you enjoyed our little demonstration. Um, please join us on our um, on our website and share some other ideas. I, I certainly don't have. I, I'm not cornering the market on cheap tools. Um, I love my tools. Um, we all do. Uh, but share some of your ideas and some other cheap tools that you found. I know you go to any hardware store and there's aisles and aisles of inexpensive, uh, you know, really, really cool little cheap tools and, and they're fun and they're, they're neat to have around and they, they can be just great time savers. And with the, with the smoke pencil there, they can be great money savers. So please, uh, come to our website, share your ideas, leave us a comment, let us know what you think. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and, uh, and give us a like if you would. Thanks.